Hi and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create your very own online store using a program called Web Starts as an alternative to just selling your arts and crafts and other items on Etsy. Now, if you're familiar with Etsy, it's a platform where you can sell homemade and handcrafted products, but one of the limitations of Etsy is the fact that you can't create your own brand or control your own content, create blogs, and also Etsy tends to refer your site visitors or your customers to other stores on Etsy. And then of course there's the fact that Etsy charges an absorbent amount of fees. So here we go, let's get started. Go to webstarts.com and click on get started, it's free. And since we're going to be creating an online store, go down to the store section in the categories and then that will display designs that already have an e-commerce element active with them. Now you can add the e-commerce plugin to any Web Starts design, but for this demo, we're just going to choose one of these store designs that already have it activated. And to do that, just find the design you like and then click select. In this next step, you'll be asked to enter in your name, email address, and choose a password for your account. And once you've done that, click sign up to move on to the next step. You can create a free.webstarts.com address just by entering in any keyword or whatever you'd like here. But if you'd like to use a top level domain name like a .com, .net, .org, or any of these other top level domain names, be sure to enter it here. Just remember that if you're choosing to use a top level domain name with your Web Start site, it will require a paid subscription. If you're not sure what to do, you can always click choose later to choose your web address at a later time. For this demonstration, I'm just going to be using the free.webstarts.com address and I've entered Etsy store and I click continue. The first thing you'll see after clicking continue is that you're on the Web Starts dashboard. You're greeted by a short video that walks you through how to make edits and changes to your website. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And since we're doing an online store, what I'm going to do is scroll down and I'm going to activate the store app by clicking on it. When you activate the store app in Web Starts, you're automatically set up with a WePay account that allows you to begin accepting credit card payments like Visa, MasterCard, and American Express instantly. The rate that we pay charges is 2.9%, which is about the standard rate and a couple of percentage points lower than you'd be paying with Etsy. Now to create your first product, just click on add your first product. If you have a spreadsheet, however, you can always import a CSV with your product data. I'm going to give my product a title and I'm just going to call it custom packaging just for the sake of this demo and then I'm going to provide a description. You can then choose to click on the add icon to add an image to your product and I'm just going to upload one from my local computer and depending on the size of that image, it could take a few moments to upload. Once your image has been uploaded, you'll see that a thumbnail is displayed. You can click on that and click Add Images, and it will be added to your product creation. You can add additional images by clicking on the icon, or you can add a video by clicking on that icon and then choosing a video from either YouTube, or you can upload your own video. I'm going to skip that step for now. Next, I'm going to give my product a price. You can choose to charge sales tax, and if you want to do that, you can set that up under settings. Under the category section, you can create a new category if you want to assign products to a specific category. I'm not going to use that for this demo. You can enable shipping and enter in your shipping weight. I'm just going to enter one pound. You can choose whether you'd like to hide a product from your store catalog. Let's say, for example, you're having a sell on a specific product and you don't want to offer it in your general catalog. You can send out an email and take people directly to the sale price for that particular item. That's 
a use case for a hide product from store catalog. Clicking on variants, you can set up things like size, color, material, or anything else. This is entirely customizable. I'm not using it for this demo. And then you can do inventory management. You can show the stock on hand by checking this box to the people that are on your store. You can enter the stock on hand and then enter the number of products uh, you'd like to be notified when that is depleted. You can enable digital delivery if you're selling something like ebooks, music, or another digital item. And when you're ready to create that first product, just click the create button. Here you can see my first product and you can go ahead and go down and create additional products just by clicking on the add product button. If you want to manage those categories, you can click on categories, orders, you can manage orders, you can run reports, and you can even create coupon codes so you can give your customers discounts by percentage or an amount. And then of course you can find your customer information. And then under settings is where you can configure your payment options. You, like I said, you're automatically set up with a WePay account, but you can also use Stripe and Authorize.net with your WebStart store. You can check this box if you want to accept PayPal. Be sure to check the, the box that says allow comments at checkout if you want to receive special instructions with each order and uncheck that if you just want a basic checkout. You can check this box if you want to allow your customers to save their card information and come back to your store in the future for a convenient checkout. And then you can set up your shipping here by UPS, weight, price, quantity, flat rate, or you can set it as free shipping. Once again, you can set up your taxes by state or country and enter whatever rate that you'd like and click submit. If you'd like to run a test transaction, you can put your entire account in test mode but be sure to switch it back on over to live mode before you start processing real transactions or your sales won't end up in your bank account. Going back to our dashboard view, click on the edit site icon and you'll be able to edit the actual content of your web pages. You can navigate from page to page by selecting the page you'd like to edit from the drop down in the top left. Some of your pages will appear categorized. For example, my blog pages are under the blog pages section and my store pages are under the store pages section. You can double click on any element in Web Starts to edit the properties. So for example, if I wanted to change this text, I can just double click on it and then I can just begin typing. Now there's so many other features of Web Starts. You can resize your elements drag and drop them wherever you'd like to appear. But for this demo, I'm going to focus on some of the store features. So I'm going to save the changes to my site. And then I'm going to go over to my store pages and I'm going to start with my store page itself. And then when I click on the store module and click on the settings icon, I can choose to adjust the number of products set up in each row and each column. I can choose the number of rows I want to display. Since I only have one product, it's really not changing much. You can choose the image scaling aspect ratio and then choose whether you'd like to display categories, product search and product options in your store. You can do the same thing with the products page. So you can navigate over to the products page. Once again, click on the module, click the settings cog, and then you can see you can choose those options as well. And then likewise, when you're in the cart view. Once again, selecting the module and then clicking the settings icon, I can choose to enable the various sorting options, search and category list. Up here at the top of your page, this is called the header. Everything that's in the green highlighted section will remain in the same place at the top of each page where the header is displayed. This gives your site consistency and makes it easier for your visitors to navigate from page to page. Similarly, the bottom section is called the footer and everything you place in the footer will remain at the bottom of each page. Most of the work that you'll be doing to your website will be done in the middle section and that's where you can create custom content for each page. Notice that I've added this widget to my header. You can do that by clicking store, store widgets, and then adding a cart widget. By adding that cart widget, it allows people
people to navigate directly to my checkout and uh, when they've placed products into their bag or their online cart. You can create your own blog to promote your products just by clicking on the blog app. You can click new post. You can add photos to your blog post by clicking anywhere and then just choosing those photos from the file manager. You can do the same thing with videos and then you can format your text just by typing a little bit and then selecting the text. So for example, I can just type some text and then select it and then I can format it. You can create a mobile view of your website by going into the mobile editor and creating a custom mobile view for each page. And when you're ready to get serious about your website, you can go back and add that domain by clicking add domain. And you can either register a new domain name or you can connect a domain name that you already own. If you choose to register a new domain after you pay for your web start subscription, your domain name will begin to work with your website automatically. If you're connecting an existing domain name, you'll still need to pay for a web start subscription. But after you're done with checkout, you may need to update your DNS and we can always help you with that. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free online store and figure out a way to brand your Etsy store and save money on those fees. Thanks for watching.